hello. <laughs> hello, 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 party people. How's everybody doing? I'm so excited that we um, barely got February's live stream in by the skin of our teeth <laughs> because we have like a couple hours left of uh, today. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking. I'm blocking the babies. How's everybody doing? What's popping? What are these comments saying? Everybody tell me where you're tuning in from. You know the drill. I, uh, my apologies for not hopping on live the last two days. I have been literally pulling all nighters to get through the footage of the videos that I need to get up and it's just been insane. So, <laughs> like I haven't been this behind on work maybe ever so New Zealand oh I love Anacortes hi Brenda Idaho oh I wish I could be in Idaho right now Kentucky Wisconsin Canada Australia Montana California Florida look how cute Lou is today oh my gosh he's just extra cute today. Hi, brother. Christian is in the chat. Oh my gosh, look at this dog. Oh, oh. Nice. You guys are tuning in from everywhere. Oh my gosh. You wanna lay down? Lay down, lay down. Relax, take a load off, kid. Yeah, take a load off. Anyways, oh my gosh, why did I wear, I hate when I wear a bun when I do this because it's hard to sit. First world problems, for sure. How do we feel about liquid death? Amazing, right? Will you ever get a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Are you straight? I am straight, unfortunately. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um only the lord knows that's all i'll say okay it's not just water it's very harsh sparkling water which is amazing you're rooting for blue to make a full recovery thank you so much so am i Blue update, um, okay, so, um, so you guys knew that when Christian said liquid death ad incoming, I wish, I would promote them for free, or for free product, honestly, I love them, I, this is what I buy every time I see it, blue update, so he had a relapse when we got back from, um, like the holiday time back home, you guys know that story. And then we got him like mostly into remission and things were going well. And then randomly he had another relapse. And it was, what was scary about it was it was while he was on chemotherapy. So that shouldn't have happened. Um, it's not like we took another break or anything. So what that told us was that the protocol that he's on wasn't working. So we have to switch it. We went back to a uh, medication that we know works for him for sure. In the meantime, will we figure out what else we want to do or like what we want to try? Obviously, whatever is best for Blue is what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm working with, obviously, all the vets are professionals. So, um, yeah, but he's doing okay right now. He's a lot better than he was like a week ago or a couple weeks ago. It's all a blur right now, but it was just... He kind of wasn't doing so hot for a few days and I had to like fully take those days off and just be with him. Like I, I'm not gonna make Blue go out and film when obviously he's relapsing. And I'm not gonna like ignore him and edit all day when he's relapsing and stuff like that. So that's what pushed everything back. But there's still hope. The vet did not seem as um, stressed out as I was. I was like in tears when I brought him in for his appointment and the vet was like, it's not a problem yet. Like it's just a change of protocol. Like it 
happens, you know, it's gonna be okay. Um, when you say relapse, does that show in his blood work or is it more of him being and acting sick? It's, it's, the cancer is back in his blood work, but it's, um, like his lymph nodes will swell up again. And like, he has little po weird pockets, like from certain lymph nodes that flare up when the cancer returns. And then he gets like really panty, needs, um, like water. He's, he's about to drink water. Do you mark? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. Just like constantly panting, constantly thirsty, constantly going pee. Um, so he still acts happy and stuff, but you can just tell he's kind of like not feeling great when that happens. You bought my mom's candles? Thank you. I'm sure she appreciates that so much. They're genuinely the best candles on earth. I'm not just saying that because she's my mom, but also I see how much work she puts into them. And it's just like, ugh, I'm so proud of her. I love her. You love me in Iceland. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. I um, I want to go to Iceland very badly. Yes, root beer or Olipop is the best. Current generic location. I can't tell you. <laughs> Says secret in the title for a reason. Um... What are your favorite YouTube channels? Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I get asked to the, this so much. Um, Eamon and Beck, Peter McKinnon, Maddie Hapoya, even though he's not really doing YouTube anymore, which is very sad. I've been following a lot of finance people recently. So like, I don't know, I'm just trying to learn about stuff I don't know. So I've, I've been more in like a research mode rather than like watching, um, lifestyle and stuff like that outdoor boys i started watching him when i started suffering in alaska and everybody was like you have to reach out to this guy and i was like oh let me watch see what they're talking about yeah the dude's a genius what a cool life i still watch him from time to time but i tend to like even with books i read i tend to watch like content and book like anything educa is educational for me. So I want to be like learning. Does that make sense? So I tend to steer more towards like YouTubers who are going to teach me something new about a skill I don't have. Or I'll like you guys know I'm obsessed with personal development books. I actually just spent way too much money at Barnes & Noble buying a whole new stack. We should go through it together. It's right there. Um, yeah. So like um, from time to time I love watching like vloggers and stuff. It's just not my main interest usually i'm watching people teach me weird skills you would think after all of that i would be more skillful in like surviving in cold water <laughs> you're worried about even in back no video since labor and delivery um Christian said B-I-B-L-E is the only personal development. That's so true. Um, I'm not worried about Eamon and Beck because I think they're truly just trying to take time off and spend time with their daughter. And that's totally warranted. Like they have been nonstop content creators for the last like six years or something like that. And they have a newborn. And I know that they kind of left it on a note where they were a little worried and it seemed like she was coming a little bit prematurely, but they posted that she arrived and she was healthy. So I think they're just taking time to soak it in and they should like they should take six months if they want it you know they'll come back when they're ready and they're still posting stuff on their habit which is their tea brand so i think they're i think they're good they're just taking time that they it's well deserved do you have a wee boost signal on po i don't i have a hot spot that is so cracked you guys want to see it look at this I don't even know how this happened. Tr truly. Like, I don't even remember dropping it. And look at this thing. Do you know Eamon and Beck personally? I wish. No, I don't. The only, <laughs> the only um, contact I've had with them is when they had their baby. I commented congratulations and they liked it. And then I fangirled, which is so funny because I feel like I wouldn't even fangirl over, like, Beyonce or someone huge. You know, I'd just be like, oh, it's a person. But something about, like, your... The YouTubers you love to watch there. 
makes y'all excited. Thank you so much. Thank you for praying for Blue too. That's so, so important in my eyes. You should cook a crock pot dinner so it will last. Maybe. Somebody said something about fitting a boyfriend in Poe. I just, yeah, what I will say, let me not be negative. It would take a very, 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 very <laughs> special individual for me to want to share Poe or a rig full time with somebody else. That would be very difficult for me. There'd be knife fights, my brother said. Yeah. I just, I, I can't really see myself. There's like, there's like two people I know that I, I could literally travel with full time and have them in Poe with me and I'd be like, I know I'll be fine. I just could not ever picture myself putting a whole man in <laughs> <sighs> what are you gonna do for 200k cry and call my mom and my dad and ugly cry to them I don't know what should I do maybe I'll do something with, I mean I have to do something with blue obviously it's his channel you know who are those two people I don't want to say because I feel like I'm gonna make other people mad <laughs> <laughs> I would make other people mad if I said it out loud. Sorry guys, it like takes me forever to read and they come in so fast. You'll buy me an Ohio State jersey? Don't want it. I'm from Michigan. Thanks, though. You guys, should we go over my new books? I'm so excited. I just want somebody to be excited with me. Ice bath challenge? I would do that. I love the cold. I love it. I would do it. I know cold plunges aren't pleasant, but I feel like I'd be fine. been following since 30k thank you you weathered some storms with me i appreciate you <laughs> mentally how are you in blue <laughs> christian my brother said been following since day one dog <laughs> you know christian is uh one, he won't admit it, but he's one of the reasons I'm still on the road and even got to this point because when Rue broke down, for those of you who didn't follow me back when I had like 300 subscribers, when my Subaru broke down, I literally landed, I literally, shout out to my brother, landed at my brother's house. This man and my sister-in-law, Sarah, had just had their first baby, my niece, Ellie, newborn baby came home from the hospital i'm in their house with my broken car <laughs> and blue and i'm like hey christian can you fix my car because i don't have any money and i can't go on this road trip i'm trying to go on if i don't fix it and he's like holding his newborn like sure let me <laughs> get right to that but anyways it took us a while but he fixed my subaru for me thanks brother okay guys this bun is really irritating me. <sighs> do you feel like this is your home or do you feel homeless? <laughs> That's funny. My, uh, my brother always jokes and calls me homeless and like when people help me or give me money he's like it's so nice of you to support the homeless 
but um no I don't feel like that at all like genuinely if I wanted to have a place and work a normal job I could and would but um this is what I love to do so um I mean there's always times where like you get fed up with like situations but I don't ever trans that translate that to the lifestyle like when I haven't showered in five days and my fridge is dead because my jackery is dead and all my food is going bad and the truck is a mess and like I need a million things done it would be so nice to be able to pull into a garage and like you know or like have a house and be able to just like quickly get everything done but I would head right back out you know what I mean like I'm never just like I wanna be in a house and li like I get I get restless almost like when I visit people or I spend a few couple weeks off the road or something and I'm like I need to go back out there okay first book I bought this week I bought f five I had to literally tame myself because I had like eight to ten books in my hands and I was like I can't fit a library in this truck you know Thank you, Derek. Okay, I bought the screw tape letters. Um, my stepdad has been telling me to read this book for a long time. And I, I think it's from the perspective of a demon or something. I honestly don't really know, but he told me it was very good and I've had friends read it and tell me it's very good. And I just saw it when I was there, so I picked it up. Screw tape letters, first book purchased. This is hilarious. This next one. This. I, it's hard for me to wake up at 8. It's hard for me to wake up at 8. The 5 a.m. Has anybody read this? Does it just tell you the entire time to wake up at 5? Obviously. Look at the title. Maria. I have had a stepdad since I was 21. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I don't know. It's supposed to be like this is the, this is the author of The Alchemist. So that really drew me in, and I was like, you know, I really should wake up earlier. Even I'm such a night owl. I'd rather stay up till five. people's history of the United States because I was trying to take a break from all the personal development because it's all I read and and I have friends that are like you need to read other stuff and it's like my only other interest is history and finance thank you <laughs> thank you for supporting the homeless it'll go to good use so yes now I'm gonna read about history you should read the Bible I do Okay, this one is also hilarious because I spend too much time in the woods. I don't know how to talk to strangers. I'm so introverted. This is gonna get me not introverted. Can you imagine? Brandon, thank you. Oh my gosh, that is so kind of you. Holy cow, you just paid for my books. That was so nice. How to talk to anybody, I need this. Hi mom, oh my mom's in here. Mom, I bought screw tape letters. Mom. You guys, this is like my family call. Mom, look what I bought. Okay, just trying to make my mom proud of me. I need this because I'm so introverted, it's awkward. And I have to be in a mood to be like friendly and that's not good. I wanna be, fr I wanna be friendly. I wanna, real mom, I don't have a stepmom. Okay, so I want to be like approachable and I already have such a not approachable face. Why are you confused? There's nothing to be confused about. You know, like I look angry cause I'm so Italian and so I don't look, you know how some people look smiley? I wish I, I wish I look smiley, I don't. So I bought this so I can learn how to talk to people beyond just like, hey, how you doing? Because I, it, after that, I'm just like, thank you. Thank you so much. That'll go directly to Blue's chemo fund. How to talk to anyone, 92 little tricks for a big success. Should we read one? 
What's your favorite drink at Starbucks? Right now, you know what happened to me? I usually get the uh, brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso and I get it half sweet because I don't really like them that sweet. Obviously. Um, it's like, why do I have to explain everything? And um, they messed up my order one time and accident like a week ago and they accidentally put sweet cream cold foam on top of it. And I was like, oh, well, I, I hate being the person that's like, excuse me. So I just took it and drank it and I was like, wait a minute. They really did something here. So now I get it with sweet cream cold foam, but I gotta stop because it's apparently really unhealthy for you. It's like 150 calories of just whipped cream, pure sugar. That's, wow. Also, I haven't mentioned this yet, you guys, but my video is uploading. So when I end this live, it'll be live. So you can go straight from this live stream to the new video. It'll be out in like 40, 40 45 minutes. Okay, all right, let's, re let's read a tip. How to resuscitate a dying conversation, that's what I need. I'll read it later. <laughs> Too much right now. And then this book I read a long time ago, but I repurchased it because I don't remember much about it. Phenomenal book, though. Tony Robbins. It is rough being an introvert sometimes. It's also amazing, though, because you're not, like, dependent on other people's... You know? So... Thank you! You guys, stop giving me money though, okay? Will you do a camp and greet so we can run away to meet you? You guys can meet me at Overland Expo this year in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'll be there all weekend. When did the 50 State Journey begin? I want to watch it from the beginning. This run of it officially started, I think it was July of 2022. So like a year and a half ago. However, I did originally start it in 2017, but all of those videos are privated because they're terrible. Terrible. Do you listen to any podcasts? I listen to podcasts more than I watch video, video content. Am I Greek? Are you Greek or Italian? I'm both. You haven't showered in a week? I haven't showered in like four days, I feel you. Thank you, Gail. So these are my new books for the next month. Oop. You guys, what if I just start waking up at 5 a.m. all the time? Like instead of seeing me go to bed, you just start seeing me do like really intense morning routines and going to bed at seven. What music do you listen to? Um, I listen to a lot of music. I love music, just like most people. Is Poe okay now? Yes and no. There's still work that needs to be done. My wipers still don't work. The Jackery still is not charging. So, um, he's still leaking. Can Blue and Sky from Fishing with Becca meet? I'm sure they will. I plan Actually, I'm not going to tell you my plans, but I hope to see Fishing with Becca sometime in the future to hang out. I'm making it sound really weird, but I do have plans to hang out with her at some point. And I have to meet Skye, obviously. What a sweetie pie. I'm like shoving my bun into the ceiling. Since you like old cars, what are your opinions on the, hold on, I just lost it. On the OG Land Rover Discovery and the Range Rover? I love discos. I can't really say too much about Range Rovers though.
Would Blue ever get a sibling? I literally, I go back and forth with that daily. Like, truly daily. I don't think right now. Um, I think Blue is in too sensitive of a situation to put a another dog. Um, it would just cause him more stress. If, if Blue, like, fully recovered and was thriving and he... The thing with Blue is, like, I could never just, like, get another dog. Like, Blue would have to meet the dog. Because he's really dog-specific on who he likes. And usually he only likes other Aussies, too. So it's like, I would have to kind of get another Aussie. Because Blue is not, like... He's, like, breed elitist. You said Blue is professionally trained by who... Would you do it again? I would do it all day, every day. Any dog I get in the future will be professionally trained. A hundred percent. My dad says it often, like he just said it a couple weeks ago, he was like, I'll never forget how different Blue was after training. It's like you got back a different dog. Cause if you don't understand the herding breed and their mentality and their need for training and stuff, which at the beginning I didn't, I was just like a dumb kid that was handed a puppy and I was like, oh, it's cute. like. You know, and I was like, why isn't the exercise enough? So yes, I definitely, and like the value of having a dog proper, properly off leash trained is just priceless. There's nothing like it. Blue's recall is insane. That dude could be chasing something, charging headfirst for the street. And if I'm like, Bubby, get back here. He's like spinning on a dime and coming right back. Like you just can't. You can't put a price on that. Um, oh, yeah, right. The dog trainer recommendation. He went to a board and train two-week program in Colorado Springs with Sit Means Sit. And they're a nationwide chain. I know, I think it's a franchise. So I can't speak to the other locations and like whether a Sit Means Sit in like Washington or Nevada would be as good as the one that I went to in Colorado. I don't know. But the one that I went to in Colorado Springs was just, they were amazing. And I'll always go back to probably that location specifically. And then after he was professionally trained by them, I worked for a dog trainer for a while. And he was trained there too with like extra things. So Blue's like, <laughs> he's had some uh, high education. He's got a doctorate, if you will worth all the money in the world, especially for an Aussie. How old are you? I'm 29. And I don't want to talk about it. It's my last year of freedom. How am I? I'm all right. I'm hanging in there. I'm just overworked right now and I'm so behind. I've been like pulling all nighters like every single week. Literally, I think I'm going on my fourth week with at least, well, one all nighter, all those other weeks. And then I pulled, I just, oh, I can't even think. Yeah, I'm just behind. But once I get caught up, I'll be fine. How do you know Timmy from Truck House Life from Alaska? Uh, I think he DM'd me. He can correct me if I'm wrong. Kara, thank you. Oh my gosh. Or Kara, sorry. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, all of this is going directly to Blue's Chemo Fund. I really, really appreciate you. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> You guys are so kind. But yeah, uh, Timmy reached out to me and I think, I can't remember what he said. I think he was giving me advice on Alaska or like saw some, maybe he saw something that happened. I don't, honestly, I can't, I can't remember. But he's a buddy of mine now. Love him. What a sweet guy. I hope to meet up with him too at some point. 
take your hair down? I can't. Because it's like so dirty, it'll stay like that. Uh, have you ever had to have surgery on the road? No. If I ever had to have surgery, I would go home to my mom's house. And I'd be like, Mommy, take care of me. Will you ever do more Saving Strays videos? Yes, absolutely. My plan to work with Underdog Rescue um, kind of got interrupted, like the next time, kind of got interrupted because of Blue's cancer diagnosis. So it's been pushed back, but I still plan on doing more stuff with them. I love them. When are you hitting up Idaho again? I Any, any moment, I would love to be there. It's one of my favorite places in the entire country. There's nothing like the Sawtooth. You guys are so funny, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm trying to like catch up. These come in so fast on, I don't know how you guys see it, but on my end it comes in so fast. It's like once I start reading one, another one pops up and then I have like ADHD, so it's hard to finish. Chris, thank you. Hey, did you get the GoFundMe money for Blue? If it was donated to his GoFundMe, then yes, it was put into his chemo account. What will you do with yourself when this overland is over? Overland will never be over. The 50 state road trip will be over, but then I have other places to go. So it's all good. The world is a very big place. Yeah, Blue's sleeping. Man's passed out. Do you have a satellite device for when you're out of service? Yeah, I do have a Garmin inReach. The good old sat phone. It's so hard to text on too. It's like, it takes forever. Where was your favorite place you've gone to? Alaska. You look like you got pretty feet. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Where in Michigan are you from? Grand Rapids. Bear City, USA. I don't have Starlink. How much is a sat phone? I think they're like a couple hundred bucks. It depends on the uh, model that you get. Any plans to hit up the East Coast? Of course, I have to. I'm on a 50 state road trip. Did you go to college? Yes. Does anyone want to guess what I went to college for? Are you a Taurus? Yeah. I don't know what that means though. I'm not a... Uh... Auto mechanic? That's so funny. <laughs> 
Um, I, public speaking, you know, I really have always been good at public speaking. I guess that kind of translates into, well, I guess maybe not, because when you're filming a video, like, it's just you and the camera, so you don't think anyone's gonna watch it. It's like, and then it's weird when people do watch it and comment on it. It's like, oh. Um, but I have always been good at public speaking. Like in high school, I should tell you guys some high school stories. I was, that version of Maria was wild. Um, I went to college for travel and tourism as my major and I minored in business. So it's like exactly what I'm doing now. But originally I wanted to, um, I was also thinking of international business because I, my goal was to finish college and then move to Ireland and work for their tourism board. That's what I wanted to do. I still would just love to move to Ireland any day of the week. If you guys see me moving to Ireland, do not be surprised. If there was ever a way I could get a visa and move there, I would buy myself a little stone cottage somewhere on the coast and I would be the happiest girl in the world. Are there any Irish people who want to get married? Final offer. Do you have a stone cottage and are you willing to give it to me and then leave? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I could also move to New Zealand. I would also love that. I think, you know, I would not be surprised if I do end up living not in the United States. Like I'll finish up my travels here. I could just, I could see myself living elsewhere. Just, I love, I'm a traveler at heart. I just want to go. I just want to go. I just want to be gone. I just want to be gone. Did you apply anything you learned in college to running the channel brand? No, actually, it's funny because when I was in college and studying for like the travel and tourism business, I was traveling so much at that time on my own because it was genuinely my passion. Like, I've, I've genuinely been doing this, like, forever. You know what I mean? And so I was, like, travel hacking and figuring out ways to, like, get to Europe. Like, round trip tickets for, like, $300. Like, I was just gone all the time. And so because I was actually doing it, I knew so much about it that... It got to the point where my professors started asking me questions like during lectures and I was like what am I paying for? Like I'm not le I'm not learning things. I'm teaching your class. Like what am I doing? What is it about traveling that you're so drawn to? I just am so interested in like when it comes like Europe is my favorite place so Europe specifically it's like the history of it all and the architecture and just like the newness of somewhere it's just like so exciting to discover somewhere new and like learn about the people the culture the food it's everything but it's like a feeling I have I, I just love it I don't know I just I just want to I just want to go I just want to go I want to go I want to go. Ow. I just hurt my self. <laughs> my son went to Ireland for his honeymoon. Now, now wants to live in Southern Ireland. I don't blame him. I visited there like when I was in college and I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move here. It's just, oh, there's no place like Ireland. Italy is great too, but I just, oh. And like the vibe of Ireland, like when you go during the rainy season and everything's like all cloudy, it's kind of like Washington, you know, where there's like permanent like mist and stuff. I just love it. Love it. Would you move to Ibiza? 
No. I'm not like a partier, so that's... What would I do when I'm... I would... I'd be like, where are the boring old people in the churches and like the old people activities? That's what I want to do. <laughs> like, heater running like a dream? Yes, it is. I have it on right now. Do you ever think about a relationship? I'm not like a girl who daydreams about that kind of stuff. So, Chris, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. Chris, that is so kind. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It goes directly to blue. <clears throat> she has a dog. She doesn't need anything else. I just think it's, look, like relationships can be beautiful and great when you're in a good one. Thank you. You're starting a channel to document hikes with your service dog. That's amazing. I just, you know what I think it is? I think some, um, I think Maria's a heartbreaker. <laughs> I just am not, I'm usually not the one that's more attached. I'll say that. But sometimes I am. I don't know. Just depends on. On the relationship, I guess. I don't know. They can be great when you're in a good one. I just think it's, um, like, for what I do for work, I've said this a million times, it's so, it's so hard. It's so hard. If I was living in one location, that'd be more, um, feasible. But I'm just, like, long distance sucks. And it's, you know, it's all good. I still would choose this job every day of the week. So, I'm happy. I don't have a boyfriend. I have blue. Does that count? Blue's more like a... He's like, well, I guess he's like my child. He's more like a de dependent. <laughs> How many heartbreaks have you had? Oh my gosh, you guys, we're getting deep on this one. Like true, like true, like hard, gut-wrenching heartbreaks. I think I've had like two. And one of them was a friendship heartbreak. And that one was the worst of my whole life. Of my whole life. Ugh. What happened to Toyota Land Cruisers, dude? Cena, I just saw him the other day. He's uh, thriving and uh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I shouldn't have said that because it kind of gives away my location. <laughs> uh, everyone forget I said that, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. God, I can't go live when I have secrets of like where I'm at. Anyways, moving on. Have you been to Tennessee? I I drove through Tennessee, but I haven't like <clears throat> spent much time there. Most influential person in your life? Probably my parents. My fr I don't know. Influ I guess it depends on like influential how. Because like I'm really, really, I have a really great, great, insane group of friends that are like all pretty much lifelong and um, love them to death. They're like more like siblings than they are kind of friends, you know? Like I don't have many, I guess I do have some casual friends, but I'm more like a ride or die. Like once I'm your friend, I'm like annoying you for life kind of thing. Um, influential, but my friends don't really like influence me to like do stuff. I think, honestly, I think the two people that have the most like say in my life that make me like rethink decisions is my mom and my dad, seriously. <sighs> Love them. And you know what's so annoying about parents, too, is, like, they're always right, for the most part. 
like my dad and I kind of got into like a not like a tiff but we had like a semi disagreement like a couple months ago about something like a random topic and I was just like whatever like you don't know what you're talking about and now today I'm like oh. he's so right so stupid <laughs> What made you choose the Land Rover Defender? It is, um, been a dream vehicle of mine since I was a teenager. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? One horse-sized duck. I feel like that'd be easier for my brain to manage. I can't pay attention to, like, a hundred things at once. Parents have been playing this game longer than they know. Yeah. Thank you, RR Gaming. I like your name. Do you look kind of like Kourtney Kardashian? I get that sometimes. That YouTube 1099 hit yet? <laughs> yeah, it's with my account. <laughs> the Defender has a great center of gravity. Poe is actually a little bit top heavy because of the Alu Cab, but Poe has the turning radius of a cruise ship. I have to make 12 point turns to do anything. get yourself an Irish husband that's so funny though because I can't really understand their accent when I went to Ireland with my sister she had to like translate for me <laughs> Christian said Poe's turning radius is surprisingly bad yeah because Christian's driven it so that's proof next vehicle um I'll always have Poe literally forever I'll just keep replacing parts on him until I can't anymore, and then if for some reason it's not worth it to do, do that anymore, I'll just park him. I'm never getting rid of this Defender. But if I were to get, like, a second vehicle at some point, or, like, add to the... to the... whatever? I don't know. I, um... My, like, absolute dream vehicle is a restored old 70s Bronco. But the thing is, is, like... I loved them when they were like not what they are now. Now they're like $200,000. When I loved them before they like kind of got trendy, they were like 50 grand fully restored. Now they're a house. I'm not, I am not paying six figures for a Bronco. Okay? So I probably won't ever have one unless I like restore it myself and buy a really crappy one, which actually would be fun. That'd be a fun project. I would also love another Defender. I would love a 90, the short one. Not to camp in, but just to like whip around. Um, I loved, I used to love the 19, I just love old crap. The 1960s Toyota, Toyota, is it only a cruiser? The old, like they, like they almost look like Defenders, like the little boxy ones. They go like 50 miles an hour. I would love one of those. Do a backflip? I have scoliosis. Brian. Okay, I can't. I wish, though. Defenders now seem a lot smaller. Yeah, I don't know. Although, you know, one of the biggest misconceptions that I get are, like, the surprising things when I meet you guys in person. I always get, wow, Poe is smaller than I thought he'd be. I think like more narrow and then everybody is surprised that I'm shorter than they thought I'd be and then everybody thinks blue is bigger than he looks on camera so apparently all three of us are like misproportioned online 
<clears throat> yeah, everybody says I look really tall. I think it's because I do wear Doc Martens, which are like an inch and a half. So I think with Doc Martens, I'm like 5'7". Because I'm 5'5". Five five and a half. So I'm five, probably like 5'7 with the Docs on. But still, people think I'm like 5'9 or taller. I'm like, what? I come from a family of shorties, okay? <laughs> All my aunts are like five feet. <laughs> Yo, hair be up, it do. Fave driving songs? Oh my gosh. What have I been. You know, the two that I was listening to recently were um, by Ocean Alley. I know Confidence is trending right now, but uh, Partner in Crime, I listened to like 45 times the other day. So good. No way you're 5'5", five five. I am. See? And then people meet me in person and they're like, wow, I always thought you'd be taller. Timmy! Hi! We were just talking about you. You missed it. You'll have to go back and find it. You're like 4'11 in real life? Have I met you in real life? I'm not 4'11". The Italian height struggle, yeah, I know. But yeah, nobody believes that I'm 5'5". Five five. Everybody thinks I'm like six feet tall, which is funny. Your scoliosis is painful? Yeah, mine is uh, getting worse with age for sure. Yeah, see, everybody's so, so nobody believes that I'm, but 5'5 five five is average, right? Like that's, it's not shorter. I think it's just shorter than people assume. You and Timmy would be the ultimate collaborators. I didn't say it, Timmy. They did. Bub's down here. Look at him pass out. Look at his freaking toes. He is so cute. I love my dog. Would you ever stop YouTube? I think something like really terrible would have to happen for me to stop YouTube. Cause it's like my, even if I didn't get paid for it, I would want to do it cause it's like a creative outlet. So. This is hurting my neck. You guys, next time I go live, tell me not to wear a bun, okay? Because I won't remember and I won't learn my lesson. <laughs> what would you do if you didn't do YouTube? I would either be... Um, if I was still going to be in the space... Okay, hold on, you guys. I gotta move a little bit. My neck is, like, killing me. If I was still gonna be in the space, because I've always been, like, a video editor. Like, that's always been my thing since I was a kid. I give, I give up, okay? I would just video edit for somebody else. That's what I would do. Um, if, like, YouTube stopped paying me tomorrow and they were like, actually, we hate you and you suck, I'd be like, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ask 10 youtubers if they want to hire me and that's what I would do because I genuinely love video editing I don't think many people or I, I just know a lot of other youtubers that don't prefer it um, And I understand why it's very daunting and annoying sometimes, but I just am obsessed with it um, So I would do that but if, if you had to take me out of the travel industry out of the video editing whatever Industry then I would be a hundred percent a horse trainer or a dog train I would be a horse trainer on a ranch somewhere because I grew up riding horses like that was my I didn't play high school sports because I spent every single weekend at the barn okay I was like competitively riding horses <laughs> I was I was going to horse shows and yeah so that's what I would be doing but 
Yeah, to me, for you, that makes sense because you're like literally in pain. That's like a totally different story. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't have to send me money. My guilt, my guilt. Thank you, that's so kind of you. It goes directly to Blue's Chemo Fund. He said thank you and he appreciates it. Bubby, your chemo is being funded. He's like, I'm busy sleeping, please leave me alone. <laughs> Post more videos. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying, okay? But it be hard out here. I'm so behind. I'm, so, I can't even tell you how behind I am. Genu genuinely, I need to sit down for a week and not talk to a single soul and just edit. And then I will probably be halfway caught up. It's crazy. You should do that. I can't because I have to film or I'll fall behind. And also I can't sit for a week because I have a dog to take care of. He's very needy and needs a lot of things. More bikini videos. If I... You're lucky I was raised with manners, okay? Not me. There are, s this is no shade. There are so many content creators out there that if you wanna go watch people pull out a bikini, you can. They are out there, my friend. You will not be finding that on my channel. Thank you so much. Mexico would have been a nice place to do that, dog. Christian, I tried, okay? I put in a valiant effort to join you. Can you get on the camera and show blue and Poe more? <laughs> that is so funny. No. Yeah, actually I was talking, the bikini stuff I was talking about. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, that's so funny though, can you imagine? It would be hilarious if a guy did it. Like just trolled it. I would love that, I would love it. I am not Mexican, I'm Italian. But fun story, we did think we were Mexican growing up. We did. And then we found out when my grandpa took a blood test that we have absolutely zero um, Mexican at all. It's all European blood. Yeah, people say the OnlyFans thing all the time. I think everybody kind of gets that. It's just the state of the internet these days. Unfortunately, why can't we go back to the, you know, olden days where people were modest? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whatever floats your boat. I'm not judging. It's just not, not for me. I'm not full-blooded Italian. You could ask Christian, what are, Christian, what are our, my brother did more research on it than, I don't know much about it. Christian knows more. I think we're like 45% Italian and then like 30% Greek. And then the rest is like Spanish and Viking blood. V Vikings. No wonder I'm like loud and aggressive. I want to see blue in a bikini, no. Not my son. Not my son. That is so funny. You guys are cracking me up. Oh my gosh, sorry, I missed so many comments. I am Viking. There's Viking blood, I swear. I swear. My entire bloodline was like very aggressive people. <laughs> very aggressive people. Prove it by ice skating. Oh my gosh. 
I have pretty good balance. I might be okay, but my coordination isn't that great. Actually, my coordination is good because I'm a good shot. So that's, that's hand-eye coordination. Yeah? I don't know. I'm literally delusional because I pulled so many all-nighters in, in a row. Night, Mom. Love you. Sounds like you have unfinished business in Alaska. I'm confused. I am confusion. Hi from Denver. Hello. Why did I say that like that? I'm literally, you guys. Um, I literally think I'm going nuts because I've pulled so many all-nighters. Like, I'm in a state of delirium. So this is great. Have you visited an Alaskan dispensary? No, I have not because I've, I'm so boring. I have never smoked in my life. I've never inhaled anything but oxygen and CO2 and diesel fumes when I <laughs> don't ventilate properly. So. But again, no hate to anybody that does that. You do you. This is America, you know? I, it's just not for me because I am, again, a grandma stuck in a 29 year old's body that's that should be my new instagram bio high on life dog yeah skin routine you don't want to ask me for a skin routine i have like the worst skin care routine on earth. I think I am an old soul. Maybe that's why I just love 80s music so much. But I'm like really boring. Like there's really nothing, you know? I am 29, yes. Thank you, that's so kind of you to say my skin looks good. I think it's just sweat <laughs> from this diesel heater. Nothing boring about George Michaels, amen, child. Who's your favorite office character? I've been waiting my entire life for this question. <sighs> Dwight Schrute. I, I actually, I think Dwight Shrew is the love of my life and that's why it nothing ever works out for me because my the love of my life is a fictional character so that's my theory on life oh love Dwight you know what I love about him is like what really attracts me to other people is when they're confident in like who they are and they just don't care about other people's opinions. Like I can't stand somebody who is like, um, gives into peer pressure when they don't like believe in something. I think that's just like a really, I just don't respect that trait. And you know, like people that just change who they are for other people, I hate that. And Dwight Shrew is like the most, um, stubbornly confident person ever. And he's so shameless. I just love it. So autistic he is. But it's hilarious. And I just love him. I also love Theo Vaughn. I think Theo Vaughn might be a love of my life. I don't know. He's so funny. Theo is the man. I love him. My top three comedians while we're on the subject are Chris Stefano, Shane Gillis, Theo Vaughn. That's my trifecta. My unbeatable trifecta. Christian is requesting Paul Revere. My brother?
I could sing Paul Revere in my sleep. You could wake me up from a sound sleep and have me at gunpoint and be like, sing Paul Revere by the Beastie Boys word for word or you're getting shot. And I would be like, no problem. I don't wanna hear any Dwight slander, you guys. He's the best. The sound is the heater. Oh my gosh, okay, my uh, I have to run guys because the video is going live. I'm going to, the video is done uploading. So I'm gonna hop off here and post the video. So YouTube video going live in like five minutes. Go watch, okay? It's not Alaska. Can't rap Paul Revere right now. Sorry, Christian, gotta run. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.